Hi guys, welcome to Scanling King. We are for the third year anniversary of our channel, Scanling Sean here. And uh, yeah, um, it's a bit of an odd video really because um, I couldn't think of any other game that we've done in the past two years to go back to for our third year anniversary. I was thinking of Earthbound Beginnings, but that would just be showing off items only took about 10 minutes, so I thought, you know what, let's have something a bit more substantial and a bit more different. How about a tour of my entertainment centre? Because we're not actually using the computer to record this. Yes, um, I mean, it kind of looked a bit weird because I had to, I can't switch between selfie mode and wide mode, so yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of a uh, dismal looking day out there. It's kind of terrible. That's kind of a thing. But yeah, so while we're looking at our well, my desktop background because this looks awesome and I made it, of course. <laughs> Selfless self promotion, even though you're kind of watching me already. Um, yeah, we're gonna be cutting around my room. Well, first of all, I'll just give you a kind of a swivel chair view of my entire room, all my areas and stuff. You've already seen it in most of my videos, but um, yeah, it's kind of a thing. Hello, <laughs> mirror, and uh, yeah, nothing all that dramatic, hello wall, <laughs> but yeah, what we're going to do is go straight to my entertainment centre and show off my, all my consoles that I have set up and all that, and note which ones have a couple corner whatnot, pretty much probably just a rehash, more interactive version of my very first introduction video that I made, so enough blabber, let's get on with it. Hello again. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a kind of a uh, nice TV that I use. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think we should start with the top here. So let me stand up for a second and get a good view of this. This is pretty much my first uh, shelving unit of my little mini entertainment center here. Kind of haphazard, but I kind of had to um, work with what I had, <laughs> obviously. And uh, yeah, you see these two center bars right here? The, the top one is for the Wii U and the bottom one is a wireless one that cannot hold charge anymore so it has to be permanently plugged in by USB and that's plugged into my Wii. We'll get to that in a minute. But the funny thing is this one used to be sitting down here but because the PlayStation 2 is now in the way I thought you know what put it behind and make it rest on the other one's USB input and have it done like that. I just knocked over something on, the, on my elbow. Yeah and therefore the PS2 can be on the top. You might be thinking, why do I have a PS2? I have PS3 and PS4! No, that's my bros, so that's a thing. Um, PlayStation 2 controller for the Ready, Xbox 360 controller, and my rechargeable batteries, Energizer. Wii U gamepad, of course. This is where my, well, that's actually my phone case, and whatever I would have would normally be charged here. So, just keep it on the side out of the way. We'll get to the plugs in a bit. And a uh, remote. Sky Remote, Basic Sky, I don't use it much, I don't watch a lot of TV. All everyone else in the other rooms have like Sky Plus HD and whatnot, with like 100 gig of memory. Yep, uh, Nunchuck for easy access, there's my Mayflash GameCube adapter for Smash for the Wii U. Can work on Dolphin Emulators as well. And uh, you can see my uh, Star Trek sets down there, there's Deep Space Nine underneath that. If I can zoom in, can I zoom in? Get breaks. No? Well, yeah, but down there is kind of like um, deep, uh, nah, next gen, and this box here is Voyager, so that's a thing. All my uh, games that I have on hand are just in a stack on the side because I haven't really got anywhere else to put them. I haven't got enough room in my uh, storage uh, cupboards, so that's a thing. But yeah, and uh, of course, uh, my GameCube controller. Fight Pad, Zelda Fight Pad, that's the uh, one that I ordered beforehand, as you already know. It's basically a GameCube style classic controller that plugs into a Wii Remote. And of course, my Zelda Gold Wii Remote that came with Skyward Sword. One of the best things about Skyward Sword, you get that if you get the bonus. A bit of a motion blur here, I don't know why. But yeah, um, on to the next shelf, which is down here. As you can see, I've got my 64 resting on top of my Xbox 360. Now, pe people may say that that's not exactly a small idea because the vent is right here and all that. But it doesn't actually get too hot, so that's fine. And they're both not running at the same time. In fact, that's not plugged in at all at the moment. But I'll get to that why that is in a bit. Because um, Pokemon Stadium on top of that, because we all know why. Special Pikachu Yen 64, very sweet and dandy. And as we all know, I would never get this unless I had a certain game which was over here, which is... There, was a, there it is, Tales of Asperia. There you are. 
Um, I've also got my Dreamcast here. I decided to set up my Dreamcast instead of running the uh, Atari through um, the second Mega Drive wire, but not having the Mega Drive plugged in because I don't play the Mega Drive that often. Um, I thought, well, you know what? If I set up the Dreamcast, I can run both of them through the same wire, so that's cool. Uh, sky on right there. In fact, this is at the back, and it's actually lined up at the back, and it's also just enough distance from the front to reach the face buttons. So that kind of works out well, unintentionally, but still. Uh, GameCube control, uh, no, 64 controller, right on top of the um, thing. Oh yeah, this. In fact, if I could, if I just pull it out for a second here. I've got a rumble pack in the uh, 64 one. But you see this blue one? It's got four. This button here switches between four internal memory cards, so it's four of these things in one, but without the buttons and VR, like, screen and whatnot, so that's a thing. Sorry about that, I had to cut in order to put the back on here two hands. But yeah, because it rests on top, that's kind of a thing. We've got the Wii and Wii U right next to each other, kind of a bit clashing because I've got a white Wii and a black Wii U, but what can you do? And, um, well, I have a 16 gig, um, SD, uh, USB, uh, memory stick that can also be used for micro SD slots like the uh, charging slot on your phone which is pretty cool and I got that for six quid at Tesco it's amazing so I've got boosted memory which is not too shabby and uh yeah so that's that drawer and on the bottom drawer this is a very awkward angle I'm having to lie down flat on my floor uh, is my Atari 2600 Junior equipped with the joystick uh, the way USB charger I want you in my face. <coughs> Excuse me. Got the uh, Mega, the Sega Mega Drive controller because it can be used with it. That's cool. GameCube controller is because GameCube. There, here. This is my Colosseum memory card that actually came with Colosseum. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's actually kind of maxed out. It's got the file for um, Colosseum, of course. Uh, that has never been touched. In terms of like re raised and restarted, it's the very first one, still on here. Never been corrupted in the slightest, which is awesome. And it's also got like Luigi's Mansion and stuff like that on there, just to fill it up. That's pretty much got like no memory. And these are the memory cards that I was talking about that are humongous. 1019 blocks. Play on brand. If I can move it to the camera, I forget that it's on this side of the um, phone. Autofocus? 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 Okay, autofocus doesn't want to work. This phone does have autofocus. If I bring it at the back here. <coughs> Bloody hell. Bloody it says 64 MB. That's where all the memory comes from. So that is pretty sweet and dandy. And Super Nintendo with the. If I can move the controller out of the way. Super Game Boy! Yay! Problem is, if I press the eject, it won't actually come out because. Not enough shelf space. And yeah, that's the thing. This ain't actually an official one, it's just got a eight directional pad instead of the normal pad. That's really why it's different. It's called the um, Competition Pro by Honeybee. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you love that bee, don't you, Pat? Okay. <laughs> that's just an AVGN slash Pat the NES punk reference. But yeah, um, of course, um, as you all know, when I try to record either the 64 or the GameCube or the Super Nintendo, I use the GameCube composite wire, I just unplug it from the back there and stick it in the Super Nintendo and the uh, 64 if need be. I cannot record the Dreamcast or the Atari without putting the camera to the screen because um, they both they all run in aerial. Um, I can get a composite wire for the uh, Dreamcast for possibly a fiver on Amazon or something, but I don't know if I want to do that because that means I'll have to reset that up again and I've already set that up about four times in ridiculous. Seriously, these two run on, the, these two, the Atari and, and the Dreamcast run on um, the same channel, 36, but I've had to set up two programs on my computer just to, uh, no, my computer, my TV, to um, run at different hertz rates so that that appears on one channel, that appears on another channel. That can appear on that program, however, when, it, when that appears on that program, it looks fizzy, but when that has its own program, it looks smooth, but obviously a bit of a motion blur because, you know, aerial. That's kind of a thing. So yeah, it's kind of fuzzy. And of course, as I've already said, all my games are right here. Frogger has Pac-Man in it because I don't have a box for it. I might as well keep them both in the same box. It's just easier for one hand. 
and all that kind of stuff. If you want to have a look at what I've got here, I've got Midway Arcade Treasures, which has built-in Gauntlet and Smash TV. Favourites. Twilight Princess, hello, first LP, anniversary, celebrating the start of starting you. Pikmin, second LP, right on top of it, funny enough. That's not an official um, covering. When I was young, I made my own covering because um, it didn't actually come with one. I know, second hand. Whatever. And um, Okami, stuff like that, you know, it's all well and good. Smash, Frogger, all that good jazz. So, let's go over to the side of the TV where all the wires are on the floor. <laughs> because I haven't really got anywhere else to put them. That's like you can hear me shift, shifting across the floor. Um, TV, Sky, Xbox 360, because it's also my main DVD player now. Uh, because it runs in HDMI, it's a lot clearer, stuff like that. Why, um, why, um, bleh, wide screen or normal settings? It's all well and good. This is the multi changing plug. Yeah, I know I've got a plug in there. I'm supposed to do that. Um, this is my multi changing plug. It's normally reserved for either chargers or for any of these that are on the floor because I haven't got enough plugs and I'm not plugging them all in because I wasn't getting my dad for eating up too much electricity. Um, this is the Wii U and this is the Wii U charger. That can also be hot swapped. But I normally leave that plugged in because obviously there goes a pair, which is why they've got this block. That's kind of a thing. So we've got, and I've, already, I've also labelled most of these. So if I zoom in, you've got the N64, Super NES. The S is kind of faded. I don't know the last one has gone missing or whatever. But yeah, it actually spreads. Once used, please unplug. I did these when I was really young, which is why they're not exactly evened. But yeah, as I've already mentioned, leaving this plugged in keeps the um, power supply hot, even though it's not running. Weird. 64 doesn't do that, NES doesn't do that, only Super Nintendo, and I believe Dreamcast? No, Dreamcast doesn't do that, but you do have to keep the Dreamcast plugged in for the onboard clock to keep functioning, unlike the GameCube or the Wii, that has like a battery backup in the system to keep the uh, clock running, so that's kind of the thing. So every time you set that up after plugging it back in, you have to bloody redo the time again, which is bloody annoying. Um, GameCube, NGC, it's supposed to be NGM, but whatever, eh, eh, NGN, yeah, that's it. PlayStation 2, and Wii, so that's all working. Now, we've also got our massive Atari plug here. In fact, it's not even Atari brand, but it came with it, and it works, which is awesome. It says Atari 2600, once again, unplug when not in use. Look, much more better wording. Problem is, this cannot be plugged into any of this. It has to be removed completely and have its own plug socket, which is a little bit of annoying, but as it's only been used for like 10 seconds, I'll just unplug it and put it back. And that's actually another thing. Um, when the reason why the Atari, the GameCube, and the Super Nintendo one on the bottom is because they all need to be pulled out for me to switch wires or just the Atari in general not having long wires. And over here is my component wire well, the component end of the uh, PS2 wire for PS2 and PS3, and it can easily be just pulled out, and I can actually get the wire itself, but it's just tucked in nicely, not, right next to the doorway, because, yeah, my TV is right next to the door. And uh, this HDMI is actually for my second, turning my TV into a second monitor on, for my PC, which is also pretty sweet. So, that's all that. Um, I have an actual um, SCART uh, multi-plug here, this is for the GameCube, this is for the Wii, uh, the one that's directly plugged in is the PS2 in the normal composite mode. Uh, the two HDMIs, the first one is the Wii U, the second one is the uh, Xbox 360, mostly because I like I record from the Wii U more often so it's easier to reach and all that. Um, of course, the um, the two SCART plugs here is obviously leading up to this SCART multi-plug here. The other one is just for Sky, because uh, it's a basic box. And, uh... Yeah, obviously I do have component input somewhere, but I'm not going to get my phone angled very well in order to show it off, I don't think. It's like right, it's right here. Yeah, you can see them, it's right here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that. So yeah, my TV's kind of a mess at the back because of all the wires, but you can't really help that, especially when you like walk into this side of the doorway. And, hey, you can see my shield. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's kind of a thing. So... Yeah, so uh, let me show you my drawers because I've got a few more things to talk about. Oh, and by the way, I didn't show off my PlayStation 2 memory cards. Look at them, 64 MB, that's like eight m memory cards in one. That's like two memory cards in one. That is insane. And it gets even more insane from there. And here are my drawers. We're literally just a little bit of a movement away from the 
uh, right across on the TV basically. I went through all my other drawers as well as my block uh, that you can sit on, which is um, that thing over there. And um, I basically went through and got all my controllers for the other um, the other shelf. Uh, uh, yeah, the other drawer because I've got my uh, multi tap here for my uh, for this thick PS2 actually it goes with it. But just to keep all the memory cards with it, I've stuck them all in. My brother's one he's got in his room in a Pac-Man 2 case. Um, uh, that's my one, uh, my, my basic one. And those are my two PlayStation 1 memory cards. They're both exactly the same size. Only that this is a Gameware brand. That one is an official see-through green, which I actually got with this PS2. This is my first PS... No, this is my second PS2, actually. That one's my third. And um, the first one I've had is actually in its box. Um, above that I'm not going to show off because it doesn't read discs anymore. And of course I've got the stand for it, which is not, um... It's Venom brand, it's not official, whatever. I'm blabbering. Um, I've got a DualShock 1 here, I've also got a basic original PlayStation controller. My original thick PlayStation right here, it works. My brother's PS1, the Slim, is a little bit buggy, don't know why. But yeah, that's a thing. And um... Got the wires to plug it in and all that. That's kind of a thing. Um, just trying to see around the camera actually, because I've got to be pretty close to get a good quality. Um, Dreamcast controller, two normal VMs, nothing too dramatic. They're my bros, so they're just kept in here with the controller along with the Mega Drive because it's all Sega related. And Sega uh, Mega Drive controllers or Genesis, if you're in America, can be used with Atari, which is where my swivel pads are because I have no use for them yet. Um, joystick. Mega Drive, what the, uh, Channel 36 wire, oh, I can prove it says Channel 36 once again, it is, there, right there, Channel 36, plus Game Genie, but it's, uh, Genesis model, which is a bit of a pain, I did not understand why it was called different, and I knew it was Mega Drive, now I know, because obviously I'm older and I'm more intelligent, but that's kind of a thing, and, um, in the next draw, put all that away, it's all the rest of my controllers for consoles that are already out. The reason why I don't have the Sega Mega Drive out is because I don't play it often. The other two, I've already got PS2 out, it covers both consoles. I've got to mention that. So yeah, this is kind of chock-a-block, but my other wires is just random PC wires and boxes, and the other drawers boxes. So that's kind of a thing. So yeah, I've got, uh, I've actually got the official Pokemon, um, controller. The problem is why this isn't on display with the, uh, actual Pokemon, uh, 64 is because, look, look, look at this. Yeah, the analog stick is a little bit on the wonky side. It's like, you push forward, but it's not like full forward, because it's a little bit on the loose side, so that's why. But you can tell that it actually matches the console that more than the other one, because that's actually out of display, because it's half coloured. Plus, that Pokemon isn't a fake Pokemon sticker, it's actually imprinted onto the uh, controller. But I did stick an Ash sticker on it, like on the other one I stuck Misty on it, so that's kind of a thing. That's when I was young, by the way, I got that one, like a boob cell, 30 quid for my, what was it, 12th birthday, I think? 8th birthday? I can't remember, really remember. Rumble pack, RF wire for the, for the 64, um, two transfer packs, each one actually having a Pokemon game in them. I believe this one has yellow and that one has blue, let's see if I'm correct. The other way around, for a second. <laughs> and this one is a unique specimen, so you're getting to see all my unique little treasures today. Yeah, this chunky little thing, <laughs> chunky little thing, chunky big thing, um, is actually an official, um, well, it's not like an official, but it is a Nintendo 64 controller. That's the plug for it. It's a little bit weird, because, like, the stop button is here, it has got slow turbo and all that jazz, auto button and all that. Uh, still got the plug for the back, um, still got the Z button, but it's so stumpy. I mean, look at this. This is like me trying to hold it. you got to hold it like a gun. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's kind of a very weird design. It's very strange. And underneath that is my uh, action replay. That's actually just a repackaged and rebranded Game Shark. What I found out later. Everything I found out later. How's that for a thing? So that's kind of a thing. And um, yeah, my underneath these two Super Nintendo legit controllers is the RF wire for the uh, Super Nintendo. Yeah, that. Is a PlayStation 2 controller. It's nothing too dramatic. It's just another big bulky version of it. That's really all it is. It's got a nice feel button. This is normally what I like to main with, actually. 
never been buggy. It's pretty much just a, ge a generic PlayStation 2 controller, but I got it with my PlayStation 2. Got a silver PlayStation 2 controller here, and I've got a turbo and slow button function GameStop brand um, PlayStation 2 controller. Now, the thing is, I live in the UK, and there's no GameStops, only Game Stations and Game. So how did I get this? Well, when I went to Ireland for a holiday, I saw, ooh, this looks like a, a nice little controller. I think I'll get this. Because, look at it. It's so tiny. I mean, like, if I try to grab it with one hand, look how tiny that is compared. Look, I can, I can tap. I can get my thumb all the way across the top of the controller. It's not exactly that easy doing that with a normal controller. Look, it's like... I can barely reach it. It's like, if I just try to get, like, a comparison here... TINY! Yes, it's got an 8-directional control pad as well, which you can actually press all the way in, which acts as, like, a L3 click, so that's kind of a thing. But, yeah, very strange on that. But I felt like I wanted to do that. I wanted to get that. So it's kind of a unique thing. For some reason, though, it doesn't like to read a lot. I only get that with uh, mostly uh, PlayStation 2 games, though. It likes to work with PlayStation 1 games, funnily enough, but only for the PS2, so that's strange. Uh, Wii Wheel, uh, official, by the way. Then we've got a uh, generic Wii Wheel from a sports pack. And then we've got the Mario Kart 8 special that I got when I put my Mario Kart 8 copy on deposit at games. So that's sweet. And it's actually lighter and a little bit smaller than the generic. So let's uh, do another little comparison here. See, it's not exactly the same size, but that is... In fact, that looks a little bit bigger. Whatever. But I had to get these wheels out of the way because um, of the uh, 360, because I couldn't show the rest of them off. Like the 360 controller. This is actually the one that came on my console, but I had to put it away. Well, no, I had to put it away because I like the silver one better. Plus, it's got the rotating control pad, where this one doesn't have a generic pad. So, that's kind of cool. Plus, um, composite wire for this 360 in here, just in case, if whatever, I can record HD, so no biggie. PlayStation 2 uh, steering wheel. Now, this is a little bit weird. It's pretty much the same size as a Wii steering wheel. But to turn, see this little bit here? Well, it like squidges in and that counts as a left and the bottom one that squidges is considered right very strange um but i picked it up because i was interested on how it would work and it is actually quite functional it does work once you know how it works it does work so i've got to sort this out now once i get a second hand but that's a uh, get second hand hey but yeah um Generic um, game where um, 64 con uh, 64 GameCube controller bleh, that um, has two Z buttons actually, and they did repurpose they did actually uh, sell these as Wii GameCube controllers, like GameCube controllers for use on Wii, but you can use them on GameCube. It's just that they have a little bit of a more bulky, cheapy kind of feel, but they have a bit of a bulky sense of uh, weight to them. Um, but their materials feel cheap. They also click a little louder. But, they do not have any turbo functions, They and they do have rumble, so they work just like um, official ones. Um, I do have a, a special bulky um, 64 gamepad here, the only difference here being is that it actually has a switch right here. If I can show it off. That basically turns the rumble on and off without going into like game settings and anything, so... Uh, Cut, I guess my uh, I've got I've got a usual con uh, class controller here and two class controller pros here. Nothing too dramatic. They're all official. And all of these is just like except for the gold blaster that I found in CEX for like 50p. Um, all of these other um, adapt uh, little ca casings and whatnot are from the sports pack that this wheel came with. And of course, two more Wii remotes. My bro's got one of my other ones, so he has two in his room. This couples onto the top of it so you can screw like the back, for example, or the golf bit. So you can like, hey, I've got the thing. And um, pink remote as well, because why not? It's fabulous. And yeah, that's uh that's my entire drawer. So let me put all this back as how I've had it. Kinda haphazard, but whatever. Here. And there we go. And I think finally, uh, the last thing I have to show is my, um, well actually I, I've got to show off my computer stand as well, but yeah, um, my knickknack display shelf, I guess, it's on my chest of drawers next to the TV. So yeah, this was my old first, uh, 
3DS, uh, that, uh, that was the Cosmo Black one, which are no longer in production, so it's pretty good. It's the one with the cracked screen, that's a thing. It gave me the Ambassador program, which I transferred over to this one, which was my new 3DS. That's the first model, and that's kind of a cool thing. Um, and yeah, the case I got like on the, basically the same year that I got my uh, new 3DS. But I needed it anyway, just to keep this one from safe, and the screen hasn't got any worse since. Um, if I do get a 3DS recording device, I want to get it for this one, because then if the top screen does go, I can still use it through the computer, so that's no big of an issue. Um, I do also have my uh, Nintendo statue collection, I guess you'd say. Um, I do have like tons of Pokemon plushies and toys and a box somewhere. Um, I have a lot of Pokemon and all that, but this is like my main amiibo kind of stuff, because like you got my Samus amiibo, you got my Link amiibo, Captain Falcon, that once it dropped in price back down to normal pricing, say 50p, got it there. That I got, I believe, in... Actually, I don't know where I got this. Say? I don't know. It doesn't say. I feel I got that in, like, an issue of Nintendo Official Magazine. Same with the uh, Giratina thing. Either that or I got that out of, like, a capsule machine when I was young. Can't remember. And, of course, the Wolfpack Amiibo. Once again, reference into White Princess. In this anniversary video, and my Ocarina of Time Link statue that I found in a boot sale, uh, in the package no less. It did have the Hylian Shield, it does have the Master Sword, but it had all snapped off of the Master Sword and the Shield, and I've never lost anything else since. The scabbard is also removable, so that's a thing. It does have some artic articulation, as you can see here. You can move the legs, take it off, you can remove this little plate, and. Da -da 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 I've um, got my two little Lego cars here, this one was custom made from a bunch of different kits, this one was actually part of its own kit for Ari. Um, Ocarina of Time, Clock, 3DS, Recharger, that's kind of thing. I normally have my laptop sitting on my uh, dirty basket when I don't have enough room for the rest of my room. Because I can't pull back, this, this is mostly the keyboard drawer. I normally store it there, but right now I've got a couple of my uh, handhelds there for now, so I'm still not fully tidy, but I've got it all pretty much all sorted out, so. That's kind of cool. So, let's go back over here for one final time to, well, let's get the screen up. And we're back to where we started. Basically, up here I've got my pens, I've got um, Chris, um, a crystal map of Ireland. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, picture of, of the uh, uh, Enterprise C from Next Gen. I think that was my granddad's and he just gave that to me because I, like, I was getting into Star Trek at the time. A uh, nice bright lamp that mostly makes my face so bright in videos that you can't see me if I had to have it off, you can't see nothing, but I need to turn it on anyway so you can actually see stuff. Uh, this drawer is basically my, this section anyway, is more like my technology drawer. It is a little bit of a shambles, but that's only because nothing stacks. I've got my DS here, I've got my kit, my original 3DS case here. That I originally used before that one, but that can store games. Um, wireless mouse, that I don't want to use. Um, and I've got my uh, SD card to USB adapter that I got Pound Shop, but I also have a micro SD card adapter in there, and it does surprisingly work very well. I've had no problems with it, so Pound Shop for the win. And uh, down here is just I don't know really. It's just stuff I need, like um, maybe some letters that I need to put away. The uh, my pin century. My this is why this is my labeling machine that I use to label stuff. A bit of a babyish color, but I've had it for years. Still on the final rollout for the free that I was given, so I've seen some use over the years. And my old microphone that doesn't work anymore because I now use the uh, Blue Yeti. Come down here. Um, this is just uh, straps and discs and stuff that I may not have, and that's just an empty segment that I don't have. Video four, Master Sword. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my speakers are behind my monitor because I misjudged my monitor size, but it's such a good monitor I didn't want to get rid of it. I'll hand it back for another one. It's a thing. Keyboard! And, uh, well, I have a Game Boy Advance P down here. The games that, uh, were on Vault, on Vault, is that? Yeah, that's got to go back in its case. PSP, black, not the red one anymore. So sad. But that's a thing. And, one final thing, other than my blue Yeti, which is on my lap for now, um, in the chest, uh, yeah, all my recording equipment. This is where I keep all my recording equipment. It's my Dazzle, my trusty Dazzle that never messes up anymore. 
Roxio, still having issues with, but I've almost got it optimized. That's a thing. My fingers getting annoyed at the camera because I'm left-handed, which sucks. All the wires in here, uh, compo the component to component wire, composite to composite wires, uh, headphone splitters, uh, signal splitters, and all that. And that chest is what I use for what's in the treasure chest as well, which is when it gets emptied for showcasing and whatnot. And it just slides into. I forget, it has to go in the other way around. It just slides in nicely there, and the microphone just sits on top. Zelda Monopoly. Highway story. It's got the sword and two words one through. Yep, I'm awesome. And uh, yeah, so I think that just about does it. I am getting hot in here because um, I think someone's turned the heating on and I am boiling with this one. And I think after that little tour. I hope you enjoyed it, so um, let's hope we can go on for another year, shall we guys? Hope you enjoyed this video, see you guys.